Hello and welcome to another weekly wrap-up video for this week, Friday, December 8th, 2023. I want to thank our guests yesterday, uh, David Mahoney and Denise Boland. As you see, the David Mahoney show came out last night. We recorded Denise last night. That should be up sometime later today. I thank them for their time and information. We'll be doing an interview this morning after this uh, recording with Holly Celiano, a fellow truther who has uh, donated her advice and experience to the Global Reset to people like Brent Johnson, who we will have on, not coincidentally, next week. Okay, a lot of information is always to cover, so let's pop right into it. Um, as of today and yesterday, Iraq has officially announced its plans to do their reforms and implement taxes and tariffs on the border. This signals internationalism for the dinar. It's a hugely important event. The last thing we're waiting for, obviously, is the HCL hydrocarbon gas law to be passed. That looks to be happening sometime in the near future. As reported yesterday on our channel, another channel, Saudi Prince Talal bin Abdulaziz bin Bandar al Saudi has died. This is another signal of the last of the oligarch for the petrodollar leading way into back to the gold standard. 20 more currency, excuse me, 20 more countries have applied for the BRICS. Uh, for 2024. Uh, on December 13th next week, Somalia and the IMF executives are meeting to discuss debt relief for that nation, aka Chisara. Uh, President Putin is meet, met uh, the other day with heads of state for the UAE and Saudi Arabia. You saw that on our Telegram channel. Another important note is the S&P 500 as of today is almost at its magic number of 4,600. It's currently sitting at 4,589. So that is something to watch as it relates to the market and the economy that we're watching implode as the systems ship. As reported today on the X-22 Spotlight with Bill Holter, which we also put up on our Telegram channel, Texas has a non-binding referendum starting in early 2024 to secede from the U.S. They already have 100,000 signatures. They needed 97,000 to pass it. This establishes that we are returning back to a restored republic. So this is huge, folks, for what we've been waiting that's all we have right now for the news. I'll finish up the interview today. If there's anything pressing, I'll get back with you. Otherwise, have a great day and a great weekend and holiday season. I'll see you soon.